Okay, this video is about dealing with deinterlacing in Final Cut Pro 10. The documentation has literally nothing in it about deinterlacing. If you look up even interlacing, there's a glossary entry and doesn't tell you anything you don't already know. And there's a couple of keyboard shortcuts. So the documentation was no help. But there is a way to deal with uh, deinterlacing in Final Cut Pro 10, and this is how you do it. You select clip. Uh, this is a 60i clip in a 30p project. And there's a deinterlace filter on this, but it's turned off right now. So how to deal with this in Final Cut is to select your clip, go to Info. Down at the bottom of the Info window on the left-hand side is this little drop-down menu. If you go down to Settings view, You'll find this option right here that's for Field Dominance Override. Uh, right now this is unmodified, that's what it looks like. Switch to Progressive. No difference. Go to Upper first, that clears it up. And Lower first. I think the proper setting for this film clip is lower first. So that's where deinterlacing in Final Cut Pro 10 is, if you need to specify. If it doesn't result in exactly what you want, Sometimes you get a better result from the motion effect. I personally prefer interpolate. Either way. Okay, that's it. Catch you on the next one.